Welcome to Reptile HQ. In this video, we are going to cover 17 quick facts regarding the red-eared slider, so let's begin. 1. The red-eared slider turtle is a species of aquatic turtle native to the southeastern United States, but can now be found in many parts of the world due to the pet trade. They require a large tank or pond with clean, warm water and a basking area, and a varied diet. They can carry salmonella, a type of bacteria that can cause serious illness in humans. Conservation efforts are important to protect their long-term survival. 2. Habitat Red-eared sliders are native to the southeastern United States, but they can now be found in many parts of the world due to the pet trade. They prefer slow-moving or still bodies of water, such as ponds, lakes, and rivers. 3. Appearance Red-eared sliders have a distinctive red patch behind each eye, which gives them their name. They have a green or brown shell, carapace, with yellow markings, and a yellow or greenish underside. Plastron They can grow up to 12 inches, 30 centimeters in length. 4. Diet Red-eared sliders are omnivores and will eat both plants and animals. Their diet can include insects, fish, snails, aquatic plants, and even carrion. 5. Behavior Red-eared sliders are diurnal, meaning they are active during the day. They are social animals and can often be found basking together on logs or rocks. They are also known to be very vocal, making a variety of sounds such as hisses and grunts. 6. Reproduction Red-eared sliders reach sexual maturity at around 5, 7 years old. They mate in the water, and females lay eggs on land. Clutches can contain anywhere from 2 to 30 eggs, and the incubation period is around 60, 80 days. 7. Lifespan Red-eared sliders can live for up to 30 years in the wild and up to 50 years in captivity with proper care. 8. Threats Red-eared sliders are considered invasive species in many parts of the world, as they can outcompete native species for resources. They are also often illegally released into the wild by pet owners who can no longer care for them. In addition, habitat loss and pollution are major threats to their survival. 9. Legal Status Red-eared sliders are protected under the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species sites, and it is illegal to export them from the United States without proper permits. However, they are still commonly sold in the pet trade. 10. Shell Shedding Red-eared sliders shed their scutes, the outer layer of their shell, as they grow. This process is called ectasis and can occur up to four times a year. 11. Temperature Regulation Red-eared sliders are ectothermic, meaning they rely on external sources of heat to regulate their body temperature. They bask in the sun or under heat lamps to warm up, and will move into cooler water or shade to cool down. 12. Hibernation Red-eared sliders are able to hibernate during the winter months in colder climates. They bury themselves in the mud at the bottom of a pond or river, where they can survive for several months without food. 13. Size Differences Male red-eared sliders are generally smaller than females, with longer tails and longer front claws. Females are larger and have shorter tails and smaller front claws. 14. Communication Red-eared sliders communicate with each other through body language and vocalizations. They may bob their head or extend their limbs to signal dominance or submission, and can make a variety of sounds to communicate with each other. 15. Pet Trade Impact the demand for red-eared sliders as pets has had a negative impact on wild populations. Many are illegally captured and sold, and those that are kept as pets often do not receive proper care, leading to health problems or early death. 16. Zoonotic Disease Red-eared sliders can carry salmonella, a type of bacteria that can cause serious illness in humans. It is important to practice good hygiene and hand washing when handling turtles or their habitat. 17. Endangered Status while the red-eared slider is not currently listed as endangered, some populations may be threatened by habitat loss, pollution, and other factors. Conservation efforts are important to protect their long-term survival.